Most people conceive of their brand as something that's an important external image. A lot of companies don't spend enough time on that, what they do and how they do it. And they kind of just skip to, okay, what do we want to say about ourselves? So if so-called loyalty programs like American Airlines Frequent Flyer Program don't inspire true customer loyalty, what does? How do some companies manage to develop meaningful, valuable, sustaining customer relationships? How do they do it? That's what led me to what great brands do. It's a branding issue to some degree. And branding consultant Denise Yon is with us this morning. Denise Lee Yon is the author of What Great Brands Do. It's less about the sale and more about the entire shopping experience. Denise, here's my question. What is the new skill set for retail? Oh, I've been working on brands for 25 plus years. I really believe in the power of business as a positive force in this world. How do some brands really thrive Great brands avoid selling products. They know it's far more effective to seduce people through emotion than to push product on them. Make a list of all the things that you as a business are able to do. Now make a second list. What are the things that you as a business are made to do? You don't want to jump on the obvious bandwagons. Your goal is to understand the role of your brand in people's lives and in the broader cultural context. So you may think that you need to ensure that your clients or your brands are following trends. But what I discovered is that great brands actually ignore trends. And sometimes great brands don't just ignore trends, they challenge them. To figure out, okay, what is the value that we create? How are we different from everyone else who's kind of in our space? Great brands don't squander their precious brand equity by chasing after elusive audiences. Instead, they operate like lighthouses and invite the world to navigate around them. Brands are not about advertising, they're about actions. You're not just developing an image, you're developing an instrument that creates value for your organization. That's what great brands do. Good is the enemy of great. I encourage you to choose to be great. Thank you. Great brands start inside, meaning great brands start brand building by cultivating a strong internal brand-led culture. Now, when I say the word culture, you might think that I'm talking about inspiration and motivation and all that feel-good stuff. I'm not. I'm talking about putting your brand in the center of your organization. And you'll see what I mean when we compare two very popular internet brands, Netflix and Zappos. People hold both of these companies in very high regard for the corporate cultures that they have. But those two companies differ in the way they apply their cultures and the difference that it makes on customers ultimately. At Netflix, culture and customer experience seem to be two separate endeavors. Where at Zappos, they are clearly and closely linked. So here's what I mean. Netflix says that one of its values is communication, and they define communication as you listen carefully instead of reacting fast so that you truly understand. So that may describe the way that employees at Netflix treat each other, but a few years ago, Netflix ran into all sorts of problems with its customers because it tried to separate its rental and streaming video businesses. 
And so I have to think that if they had applied that value of listening carefully, not only as an internal employee value, but as an external customer value, they would have been able to design a solution that was much more well accepted by their customers. Now contrast that with how Zappos says that its number one value is to deliver wow through service. And it says that in order to deliver wow, you have to differentiate. You have to do things that are a little unconventional and innovative. So it actually does a lot of things that are unconventional and innovative inside its company. For example, it, every year, the employees, not the leaders at Zappos, publish a culture book. And they also allow their employees to decorate their office spaces, no matter how crazy they can get. But Zappos also does things that is uh, that do things that are unconventional and innovative in the customer experience. For example, if you are a customer and you call up Zappos to order a pair of shoes and they're out of stock, the customer service rep will actually research up to three competitive sites to find those shoes for you and then direct you to that website so that you can buy the shoes from one of their competitors. That's delivering wow. Okay? It makes no sense to have a purpose and values to inspire and engage your employees if they aren't inextricably linked with how you inspire and engage your customers. Without that kind of alignment, you might end up with happy employees, but your business never really produces any results. Or, at worst, you end up with um, kind of confusing both groups, and you cause both your employees and your customers to question your integrity. Zappos, like other great brands, starts brand building inside. It puts its brand values in the center of its organization and uses them to shape their internal culture and their external customer experience. Now, you can put this action into place by ensuring that your organization has a clear purpose and values, and that you are cultivating them into a strong culture inside your company, and then using them to ex and expressing and delivering them through everything you do to people outside your company. What I like to do is mix both the principle or the action that I have observed great brands doing, then with an example or a case study, and then followed by a tool or a method or an exercise that the client can do. So, you know, depending on who I'm speaking to, there are seven actions that I've identified that great brands take, and I might emphasize one or two of them um, depending on, you know, the specific client. But I'm really trying to understand, okay, yeah, you know, where are the gaps? Like, Maybe they're very clear about who their target audience is, but they're not so clear on what makes them different from all the other options that, that target has. So I'll design my talk to key in to the specific actions that are relevant to them. Uh, and then I'll tell stories. And you know, I think the stories are a very powerful way for people to understand what an action or what a principle really means. Every great brand defines its brand as its business. Your brand can't just be a promise it must be a promise delivered. When you put your brand at the center of your organization, you are doing what great brands do. Now, I'm going to close by sharing one last thing with you, and that is that I talk about this topic with people all around the world, and sometimes what will happen is um, I'll kind of afterwards, I'll be standing in the back and people will be coming up and talking to me and someone will come up to me and say, oh, Denise, I loved your presentation. It was great. Brand is business. I get it. It's so important. And by the way, can I give you my business card so you can tell me what you think about my logo? It's as if they're showing me the stamp that they want to brand their cow with, right? <laughs> Unbelievable, right? It's It's frustrating and it's disappointing and, and quite frankly it's heartbreaking. It literally breaks my heart because I believe in the power of business as a positive force for change in this world. I believe that whether you are working for a big company or a small nonprofit, 
you can change people's lives. Whether you're offering, offering financing for under-resourced individuals or whether you're uh, helping people connect through technology or whether you're ser just serving a great burger, you can make a difference. But you can't do that with just a logo. You do that by building a brand that has integrity, that's executed with excellence, and that produces real value. You have the power to change the world, but you can only do that if you live up to the potential of your brand. Thank you very much.